Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cogables Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nix No Cogables. I'm the founder and the director of the Cogables Industry Spy Network and the Cogables Nation. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's video on my second channel, which is actually my personal channel. That will be specifically connected to me playing music on guitar and doing music production on Linux and open source software. Yes, you can do music production on a Linux machine. You just need to know how to set that up correctly. Actually, I think next week at 3 p.m. on Wednesday, I think, 3 p.m. Pacific, I think I already have a tutorial made for that. I don't know. If I don't, I'll probably have one made by next Wednesday at 3 p.m. So be on the lookout for that on my second channel. Uh, we'll, we'll probably just have the second channel linked to the description below anyway, so you can go ahead and subscribe to that if you feel inclined to see what I do musically. That out of the way, I wanted to show off the software in which I use on a day-to-day -day basis when running the Cokewals Nation YouTube channel and its parent, the Cokewals Industry Spy Network. First things first is going to be the operating system and I'm going to be doing that using a quick Neo fetch. Oops. And with the results of the NeoFetch, you'll see that I use Linux Mint 21 with the Licorix kernel, the latest version of 6.3.9-1. And as you can see, I'm running a Ryzen 5 3600 at 3.6 GHz and an NVIDIA GeForce 2060. Now, if you do recall from the first video on the channel, if you're an OG, you'll know that it's an EVGA model, uh, specifically their KO. But that said, we're going to get to the video software next, and it's actually what I'm using right now to record this video, a little something called OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software. It is considered to be the industry standard when it comes to free and open source screen recording software. It is the most polished, and I've not had many troubles when using OBS. But sometimes when I need to edit a video on the channel, well, heh, luckily for me, I'm actually editing this video using Caden Live. I've always used Caden Live to edit my videos, and that was actually the same thing with my editor as well. I do have a guy also doing the bulk of the editing because he has nothing better to do apparently, and he also uses Caden Live. It is what I consider to be one of the best uh, video editors I've used, but yes, this is the software I use that increased my workflow a tiny percentage, sure, but I'm getting there, right? I mean, I've got a good workflow already. And to do most of my shenanigans and posting, well, I've got this hardened Firefox uh, with uBlock Origin and NoScript and some basic hardening settings. So yeah, I've hardened it like crazy. Uh, the way I have hardened it, well, I'm going to place that in the, in the link below. Next is going to be the gaming software. These are the main three that I use. Steam is pretty obvious. And if you're a user of Itch, well, there's a desktop application for that. If you didn't know about it, most Itch users do know about it. And I use Itch pretty much all the time. Uh, it is nice and clean for a DRM free thing. I also use GOG as well which is DRM free, but their service is proprietary, whereas Itch, they are essentially DRM free and open source, which is good news. Now comes the audio side of things. First things first, I'm going to be pulling up this little application called Tenacity. Now, what is Tenacity, you may be asking? It looks just like Audacity. You would be correct. This is a telemetry free fork of Audacity after the Muse Group, who bought Audacity some time ago, announced that they would be adding telemetry to this piece of free open source software, and it already violates GPL3. So I don't know what the legal uh, ramifications of this are, but the legal ramifications are massive. Lots of people, especially in the free software movement, did not like this at all, so they moved on to stuff like Tenacity or Audacium or even Sneedacity at one point. 
But yeah, I like using Tenacity. I've not used Audacium much. I mean, I've had to build it from Source before, but that's a pain in the booty to set up. And, well, I needed a script in order to even read off what I have written. Because, yes, I did all the writing for Computing Comparisons, which is my podcast that I was working on. I'll bring up the latest episode, which is the Arcade Racers one. Uh, for those that are unaware, I have produced four episodes of Computing Comparisons with more in the future. But I just actually need to find the software to use. But yeah, that is what I use for my script writing. Uh, document view over here, that's basically an application called Evans. Um, the application that comes with Mint for document viewing, I personally don't like that one. It literally looks the same, but I just use Evans personally because I do like it better. And plus, it's one of three applications that I've used. I'm going to grab all of them. This, this and the terminal due to a little thing called roll dice. You would have seen these three applications in use when I did my tutorial on how to roll a character in the basic fantasy RPG. These three pieces of software were used in that tutorial. And I've got a ton more software. Uh, for example, I am trying to get into programming, so obviously I've got a ton of different uh, integrated development environments or IDEs like VS Codium, which is basically open source Visual Studio Code. Or I could do Genie, which is also another multi language IDE, open source apparently really well. Then comes Codeblocks, which is a C and C IDE, so that's always a good option. Zero Brain Studio, um, for you Linux users out there, you basically need to make a desktop file on your own. I'm just using the version straight from GitHub. I'm not using like that done dot run installer or whatever that is. It does some absolutely crazy stuff. But yeah, that is our Lua IDE. I even written it as such. And Light XL, which is another lightweight text editor. Okay, so after I got done recording, I forgot one critical piece of software, and that is Revolt, which is essentially a Discord uh, clone. It's actually a really good Discord clone. Nice and polished, just like Discord is, but without many of the features. And it's even going to have end-to-end -end encryption. Yeah, take that, Discord. I mean, come on. It looks extremely nice, and it looks just like Discord. Well, you can use some CSS to make it look however you'd like. And boy, can people be pretty creative with it. I think the website version of it is app.revolt.chat. That one, if I'm not mistaken, is Revite, which is the recommended way to use Revolt. So I thought I would mention that. And based upon all of that, I think I can end it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am out of time for today's episode here on the Cookie Nation. If you like what you see and want to see more like this in the future, you can do this one of five ways. You can. Hit the like button to show your support to the Kogulos Nation. Hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Kogulos Nation. Hit the bell icon to become notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific time. You can also comment on all of our videos. All videos are open for comment. And last but not least, you can share this channel with your family or friends. Also, feel free to join the Kogulos Nation core server on Revolt which is always open for business and always linked in the description of all of our videos below. Sorry, I'm not going to be using Discord anytime soon. That being said, thank you and good night.